Hello, my name is Roman Malastas from Keysight Technologies. In this video, I'm going to show you how to measure the rotational speed of a brushed DC motor using our DAC 34970A and a power supply. And we'll also use a Hall effect sensor to measure the rotational speed of the motor. To accomplish that, we would use the Hall effect sensor and I have attached a um, magnet on the rotor of the motor. For this demo, I'm only attaching one, but ideally you would want a, a well-distributed weight to prevent wobbling, so you would need a small magnet or two magnets to keep it balanced or four. And let's talk a little bit about Hall effect sensor. Generally, there's uh, two kinds of Hall effect sensor. One's linear, which the output is proportional to the strength of the approaching magnetic field and there's also a switch kind or a digital kind where the output goes from high to low or low to high depending on the design of the Hall effect sensor. In this particular demo I'm using a switch type. Now this DAC has a multiplexer plugged into it, a module that gives it the capability to measure resistance, AC or DC voltage, temperature, period, frequency. In this uh, demo, we're using the frequency, and I'm going to program that to reflect RPM instead of cycles per second. And to do that, we need to multiply the gain by 60 a cycle that converts it from second to minutes. Now right now um, to, to program the DAC we need to um, go to the channel that we need to program and then set the gain. Hit that button again as you can see I already programmed it to the gain to be multiplied by 60. The offset we don't need anything on the offset, so I'll just leave that as zero. And set the label, I already name it as RPM instead of Hertz. Now I'll just put the motor on top of the Hall effect sensor. And I'll power up the motor. Right now it's being powered up to two volts. As you can see, the RPM is reflecting 922 and now I'm going to power up to 3 volts and now our uh, RPM have increased to 1.4 K rotation per minute I'll go ahead and turn it off and now the RPM is reflecting 0 Generally, the way you would set the motor up, you would have smaller magnets attached to the rotor and you would have either two or four to make sure there's no, the weight are uh, distributed properly and there's no wobbling effect. Just for this demo, just to show you, so you can see the magnet is how the magnets attached to the rotor and how it works. Thank you very much for watching my video and have a good day.